Hey everyone, quick tutorial on how to use Evadus Plus, the virtual machine that I made for exam cheating. Some of you might be asking, why are you making a tutorial for your app, even though you haven't actually announced your app? That's because people have already started buying subscriptions and credits, and I haven't actually announced yet, so I have to show people how to use it before I actually announce it, which is a funny way to do things, but here we are. First thing you do is you come to our website, evadus.wtf, it'll be the first link in the description, and then you're gonna download for your platform. When it's done, you just double click it. Then you're gonna get this smart screen pop-up. This is just because our code isn't signed. Anyway, you just say more info and say run anyway. Just say, I accept the agreement, next. This is the default location. I recommend leaving there. And I really highly, highly recommend you leave that checked. Create a desktop shortcut, say next and install. When it's done, just leave that option checked and click finish. That's gonna launch the app and it's gonna take a while the first time, but it's literally just because it's the first time you're running the app, it's gonna take a while. Any subsequent runs and startups is gonna be a lot quicker. I'll be making a tutorial for our other two ones in the coming days, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, you're gonna go over to the Evadus Plus tab, which is the virtual machine, and it's gonna say that you need to install the virtual machine first. So just click the button that says download VM installer, and that's going to download the zip file for the virtual machine. Now it's quite a big file, it's about 17 gigabytes, so it's gonna take a while. It says about 40 minutes for me. When it's done, you're going to have a zip file just like this. Then you're going to right click it and you're going to say extract all. It's going to pop up this window. It doesn't matter where you extract it to, just say extract. And when it's done, you should have a folder on your computer that just says virtual machine. Anyway, you're just going to double click that folder and it's going to open up this. All you do is double click the Evadus VM installer exe file. There we go. Then you're going to see this window. All you do is say install virtual machine. It's going to look for where Evadus is installed on your computer and then it's going to install the virtual machine files there. Shouldn't take more than about two minutes. And there we go. Then you can just close out of this window. Now I'm going to go back into my app. Now to use the virtual machine, you just need to enable a couple of features. So go into your search bar and type turn windows features on or off. And then you want to select the following options. You want to select Hyper-V, Virtual Machine Platform, Windows Hypervisor Platform, and Windows Sandbox. Your computer is going to require a restart, so just restart your computer afterwards. This is where you can customize the amount of resources that the virtual machine can use. The default is going to be two cores and four gigabytes of RAM. I recommend leaving it at that because the virtual machine is very optimized, so you don't really need to give it any more. But if you want to, you can. I forgot to mention, but here in the top right corner, you can see when your subscription expires. Anyway, I'm going to click Start Virtual Machine. And this is just a very quick quick start guide to make sure you got everything done. We already did this step of enabling certain Windows features. The rest is pretty much just troubleshooting and trivial stuff, but you can read it if you want. Then you just say continue, and it's gonna start this thing called a virtual here USB server. This is just to allow your webcam and mic to pass through if you want to. And that is gonna start up the virtual machine. This is sometimes gonna happen. You're gonna get a blue screen when you try to restart the virtual machine or shut it down. This doesn't actually affect anything. The virtual machine will never crash when you're actually busy with it. It's only on startup sometimes. All you say is restart my PC. And there we go. The password to the virtual machine is just one, two, three. It's gonna run some PowerShell scripts on startup. You can just wait for those to finish by minimizing it. If you wanna use your webcam inside of the virtual machine, you just have to pick it from this list. So mine is called the Osdom AW6451S. I'm just gonna double click it. Then just go checking your camera app and make sure that it's working. Now to use your keyboard inside of the virtual machine in certain places, all you do is compress control, alt and G. And then you'll see here in the window title of the virtual machine, it's gonna say press control alt G to release grab. So if you go into the device manager right here and we look under something like disk drives, it's gonna say that it's a 128 gigabyte NVMe drive and pretty much everything is gonna be legit. If you go into task manager, you'll also see that we have the amount of cores and RAM that I selected. Yeah, so we have four cores right here and eight gigabytes of RAM, which is what we selected. If we run DX Diag, you'll also see that we have a gigabyte motherboard and it's a completely legitimate copy of Windows, just like a normal machine. If we run IP config to check our Mac address, you'll also see that that's a completely legitimate Mac address, not like a VMware or Kimu Mac. But now as for the pretty important part is that you have to go into your documents, go to setup scripts and click on customizer and click run with PowerShell. And now if we go into the virtual machine, still the same password. Again, the PowerShell window is gonna pop up. Just let us do its thing and close itself. And you'll notice that the desktop looks completely different. It has a different background with different icons. If we run IP config again, you'll see that we'd have a different Mac address now. And if we go to the PC name, you'll also see we have a different PC name. Each time that the PC starts up, it's gonna give itself different BIOS names and different drive names. So just to demonstrate that, I'm gonna close the virtual machine right now. And this is also a pretty important note. The best way to close the virtual machine is not by shutting it down from within. It's just pressing that X. I know it seems counterintuitive, but trust me, it avoids the most blue screens. I'm gonna start the virtual machine again. 
Oh yeah, sometimes this PowerShell window is going to get stuck. All you have to do is press enter and then it's going to do its thing. So if you go into device manager right now, you see that now we have a different name for the SSD. Now it's a Kingston drive. And if we check the motherboard, you'll also see it's a different model of motherboard. It's all from Gigabyte just for consistency because Gigabyte are the most popular motherboards. It's very rare that someone doesn't have a Gigabyte motherboard. I figure I should probably also show that it actually works. So I'm going to download the latest version of Safe Exam Browser, which is the industry leader in proctoring and also the strictest one. And you'll see that it works. So yeah, if you want the best cheating software that there is for online exams, there really isn't any competition. Evadus is just the best. It's the most undetectable, it is the cheapest, and it is the easiest to use. This virtual machine is undetectable to Responder, Safe Exam Browser, and pretty much any other lockdown tool that exists. If you're writing tests with something like Proctorio or Onalock, this is completely unnecessary. It is just completely overkill. You can use one of our other products, it'll work just fine. I have a full compatibility and making sure that whatever tool you want to use is undetectable for what you want to cheat. Just go to our website and there's going to be a full list of the latest information of what is undetectable and what you can use. So remember, this is the best way to close the virtual machine is just by forcing it like that. So at the bottom here, you're going to see the proctors that it covers. Just press see all. And then it's going to take you to this section on our website that has a full list of everything that's undetectable. So you'll see that Respondus only has an E plus next to it, meaning that you can only use Evadus plus to bypass Respondus. But something like Onalock and Proctorio, you can use anything you want, but it's just really overkill to use Evadus plus. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you to all the people that have already bought subscriptions and haven't actually seen proof that it actually works. But yeah, here we go. Just a quick tutorial showing you guys that it actually works and how it works. Thank you very much for all the support. I'll see you in the next video.